Welcome back everyone. Let's do a few examples in FEMAP so we can understand uh, rigid body elements a little bit better. First up, uh, let's create some geometry so we can work with. Uh, let's do a rectangle. Do one, one, negative one, negative, negative one. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna, uh, let's see, we'll turn it into a surface. Surface, edges, this, 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 okay, there you have it, cancel, on with these uh, somewhat more beginner steps I'm just gonna hurry it up so we don't uh, waste time with it, location of the center, there you go, uh, 0 0.5 with the radius of the circle, there you go, I'm gonna cut it out of there now, so I'm gonna go ahead and the projection projects on this surface use this curve ok cancel now it should be able to delete the center surface come on select did you which one did you select? no that's not the one there you go that's all I want ok delete a uh, yep there you go now good we have our first geometry that we're gonna work with so let's take a look so our goal is to set up something like this we have we're gonna work with rigid body elements which are not deformable that's why we call them rigid bodies so they will not behave like the rest of our model right so this is made out of some material that deforms as we can see if we apply loads to it it will change shape bend whatever all kind of stuff rigid body elements they will not do any of that so as you can see in this circle right here we're gonna have one master and a bunch of slaves that will follow this one master also you can call these as an independent node right here and all these in on the outer circle they're gonna be the D independent uh, nodes that will follow this independent node okay so let's continue setting this up uh, we need our material I'm gonna call it M1 let's see 70E9.33 that's good let's set up the property this is a plate, I'm gonna work with plate or shell elements uh, P1 material, pick what we just defined here plate, right here ok, thickness of 0 0.1 will do it ok, cancel let's mesh it, seed mesh control size on surface there you go, ok whatever the default is I it's good enough for us right now cancel mesh geometry uh, surface oh maybe I should select it huh? uh, mesh geometry surface there you go okay and quadrilateral good p1 elements what we just defined okay there you go so at this point we're ready to create our rigid body element so let's go to modal model element type and rigid right here okay and uh, I'm gonna change the color that I'm gonna be working with let's say uh, yellow or green what is it yeah there you go and uh, well the, this area wants you to define what's gonna be your independent or your master node and here you're going to define all your dependent or slave nodes depends what language you're used to there you go so a here I do not have a node in the center so I cannot define it but there's this option new node at center that means that I'm gonna come here I'm gonna define all the nodes that I'm working with and then Femap is gonna calculate it based on those the center from that and it'll make one for you so I'm gonna pick them on curve there you go I'll pick it this one and this one 
see, on the whole circle. Here you go. And rigid body element 2 I'm gonna work with right now. And OK. And there you have it. It it calculated it for us. It took all these and calculated the center from all of these and it found it, oh, it's right here, bam, and it built all the elements as it's needed. Now let's apply a load to this uh, setup model load on a node. It's gonna be an external force, I'm gonna call it for, uh, F external Okay, I'm gonna remember we gonna be applying it to the master and whatever the master is doing it uh, all these at the edges will be following it. That's the whole point of this. We uh, kind of uh, take the load that we he have here and instead of having it as a point load we kind of smear it and distribute it along all of these guys. Okay, so uh, did I select? Yes, okay. And let's see, call it F, it's a force, and I want it to go uh, along the Z direction. So I'm gonna put, uh, let's say, 1000, and that should do it. Okay, it's there, yep, it's there, good. And we need to do right now some constraints. So model constraint on, 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 on curve and I'm gonna constrain two of the edges. So B, C, boundary conditions, okay. I'm gonna take this one and this one. So, okay. Title, oh no, edges. And uh, we can do fixed. Okay. Cancel. And there you go. This is our setup. Let's go ahead and run it. See how uh, it behaves. Analysis. New. Call it one. Static analysis. Okay. And analyze. Okay. And if we didn't do anything wrong, we should get a an answer here that it completed it without any issues and there it is and let's take a look there you have it there's the original and deformed view as you can tell the circle that where where we applied our load right it's evenly pulled right one edge is not pulled more than the other we can look at it from a nice angle we can see that it's flat. This force was evenly distributed around the edge of this entire circle. That's the whole point of these. Make sure you check out the playlist of this video because uh, we have a few other videos where we apply the rigid body elements to different setups so you can get uh, your understanding on better foundation. Alright, well thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and tune in for the next one. Have a good one.